Now, earlier, we discussed the bleak existence of Wireless 3 or Wireless G, where you had a single stream spread out amongst multiple devices. Now, in this case, each one of these four devices is actually only getting 25% or a quarter of the available bandwidth on this wireless router. And that is not good. In the case of Wi-Fi 4, which supported MIMO, each device was able to get its own dedicated connection to the wireless router. This happened really fast, which made it seem to the devices that they each had their own dedicated wireless router. Even so, as you added more devices, there was an eventual slowdown because even though each device is getting its own 100% connection, it had to wait in turn with the other wireless devices. So along came MU MIMO or MIMO to the rescue with Wi-Fi 5. Now it didn't happen immediately. It didn't really hit the streets until wave two of Wi-Fi 5 came out. So just because you have a Wi-Fi 5 device, it doesn't mean it supports MU MIMO. You need to look at that device's documentation to make sure it does. So what MU MIMO is, is it's simply MIMO or MIMO for multiple users. This means instead of each device having to wait its turn for that one single stream of Wi-Fi goodness, everybody got it at once. Of course, this does have its limitations depending on how many streams you have and what your device supports. Even so, this is a quantum leap from where we were with Wi-Fi 3.